Well, hello everyone, and uh, good afternoon. This is Dr. Jerry Cuomo. I'm here in my Boca Raton office uh, presenting this uh, implant case now that uh, uh, sometimes during treatment you may have to wait for a period of time before your implants are fully integrated. There might be some, uh, some issues that are noticed on the x-ray uh, where you might have some minor bone loss or you're, you're waiting to make sure that the case is, uh, is going to be stable over time and you have to make a, um, a long-term provisional temporary. And so we decided to do that in this case. Um, patient was edentulous in the lower right side. Three implants were placed. It's going to be a four-tooth bridge. Um, here it is um, a Stroman combination bone level and tissue level implant. Now to get right to it, um, sometimes we have to quickly place uh, some diagnostic teeth over the implant so that we can help the lab technician uh, align the, um, the implants in a proper position. Uh, especially the, the vent holes for the screws themselves. So what I've done is just taken some ion crowns and placed them in position. And so, and then what we'll do is duplicate this. Uh, this, this model has been mounted to an upper and uh, so we're going to duplicate this, this model. Um, there's a little bit of a crossbite in this case uh, as we go toward the, the posterior. So let me set this aside. Remember, this will be duplicated on the vac placed, and maybe some chimney holes placed above it for the laboratory to to uh, start the, uh, uh, to, uh, to make the uh, the temporary. This temporary is going to be made of a, a material called Radica. It is a composite material. This lab specializes in that. Um, so I ordered the parts. These are bridge. Um, temporary abutments and when you receive your temporary abutments um, they come in a container like this and this one happens to be the RC for the bone level temporary abutment for the bridge okay we'll set that aside and also I'm going to just show you the other container this one is for the wide neck synocta post that's for a bridge as well and so when you open the, the container uh, you'll get uh, the individual parts. Now I'm just put an analog on that to begin with, but this is the part you get a basal screw here, here's your part, and then very similar to the gold waxing coping uh, that the lab will use to make their custom abutments, you'll get this very very large flared um, uh, metal skirt. That what I found and what my lab has found is it gets in the way and you have to trim it away. So how do you do that? Well, let me show you first how it gets in the way, then I'll show you how we trim it away. All right. So if I go to seat this in here and I start tightening it down, okay, what happens is it's not seating all the way. Um, when we took our impression earlier, I showed you that uh, we made a nice V-shaped funnel impression copied it right off of the uh, peak abutments but unfortunately now we, we're at a standstill we can't build to this until we treat the metal of this temporary abutment labs also will treat the same skirt of the uh, gold cast two copings why because I don't know why the company just makes them very very wide and I think uh, I think it's unnecessary. So what we do is we tighten down the analog first and then I'll scribe a line with a scalpel. In this case it's just a red red handle knife. And just scribe a scalpel so that it goes all the way through this area. Um, let's see if I can get an explorer to do that. All right. Yeah, just take your scalpel, brand new 15, and just draw, draw your line first. Okay, then after you draw your line, now you can trim away all this this uh, unwanted metal. Okay, and what I use is basically a heatless stone, 
and I use magnification and it and I just uh, I trim it but scribe the line first and then take the screw away and everything away from your hand and then just go ahead and trim it now I'll show you what that looks like um, I've done it but I didn't do it with the analog in my hand I did it just freehand so to be more precise take the analog put it in place okay here is um, the difference between the two I hope you can see that so you can see how much you have to trim away okay so it's it's just about to that line if we put it on the analog I think I'm going to be just a little bit underneath yeah just a little bit I would go to the line because it, when they go to process your case with either composite or acrylic it won't seep down into the um, the lab analog, and and also it won't seep down into the to the mouth, you know, to the anal uh, to the implant in the mouth. All right. So a little common sense here. I'm learning as I go along with this uh, these ideas. But Strauman really needs to 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 study their format better. Um, other companies, you can do the same thing. You know, you take the analog in your hand, and if you have to work it out, fine. Now. Um, this is for a bridge. Uh, if it were for a single crown and you're going to make a temporary, um, there would be some anti-rotational seating in here. Okay, But it still se seats pretty well. And by the time you place your basal screw in there, it should line up uh, nicely. Okay, so I hope this helps uh, both dentists and laboratory technicians with their cases. And, um, you know, it's, it's fun when you, when you can see things better. Certainly, it's a lot more fun when it's predictable in the mouth. Incidentally, this is a <laughs> this big canteen here. This is the uh, wide neck um, temporary abutment. Boy, that's huge for the TL. Uh, I try to do as many bone levels and platform shifting and platform switching. Uh, today, I, I do a lot less of the tissue level and try to get away from the the polished collars uh, that are up under the tissue. There's a lot of literature now, a lot of movement uh, to move away from that uh, thinking. All right, that's it for now. Dr. Jerry Cuomo, hope you guys and girls have a, a good day out there today and, uh, and uh, keep practicing uh, the good dentistry. Take care, and we'll see you next time.